Hello, hello everyone. Today I return yet again with another update regarding this thing. Uh, Wargaming had a chance to perhaps kill this entire drama, make things right, to appease the community, to fix issues, and as you're probably aware, <laughs> in classic Wargaming fashion, they did absolutely none of those things. Wargaming's uh, so-called I don't know, apology? I don't, I don't think anyone can, will actually call it an apology, but it was it was just not admitting any fault, not apologizing for anything, and in general just kind of hoping the entire thing goes away, and they spent two days preparing for this entire thing, and uh, it was a complete disaster, of course, complete disaster. No one actually took this uh, as any sort of apology, uh, as any sort of apology, and uh, Wargaming's attempt to defuse this situation, well, it was terrible. All they managed to do is straight up pour more gas on the fire. Especially when it came out, when they promised that, well, in the so called apology, they said, We appreciate the community feedback about Missouri being obtainable via random bundles exclusively in 0.10.7. We have been discussing this since last week and decided to add an alternative way to purchase the ship. We will provide details on our dev blog soon. And my god, the dev blog, it's probably the single most toned thing I've ever seen. Captains, we would like to announce the upcoming. Uh, we would like to announce changes in the upcoming event with Missouri. Sounds good. Based on your feedback, we're going to add an alternative way of obtaining Missouri in 0.10.7. Oh wow, are we going to be able to get it like free XP? Like it used to be? Or uh, is there going to be some way to grind it perhaps? Or uh, is it going to be a coal ship or something? A special temporary web-based campaign dedicated to the end of World War II, nice, will be available from August 27. It's a unique event with new mechanics. You will have the chance to immerse yourself in the atmosphere of the greatest naval battles and choose your own path through the Pacific theater of World War II. Oh, this sounds really cool. We had this portal campaign planned without Missouri, but based on your feedback and her special connection to the end of the war, we think this would be a great thematic fit to offer an alternative way of obtaining her. Oh, this sounds promising. So, after completing the campaign, after completing the campaign, you will be able to purchase Missouri directly in the premium shop at the same price as other tier 9 premium ships. So this is uh, this is their response. You know what? Uh, you're gonna have this entire campaign to complete, and once you complete this campaign, you'll be able to still use real money just to buy it in the premium store with no discount, no special offer, just exactly the same price as any other tier nine premium. So and note that. In the entire dev blog or in this entire thing, they don't actually mention anything about removing the doubloon loot boxes uh, that contain the Missouri. So they're still very much hoping that people will not want to grind this entire campaign just for the right to spend real life money. So if people don't want to do this, they'll instead spend a ton of money on these random gambling boxes to get the Missouri through them. <laughs> it's, it's such a level of greedy and scummy. That is actually hard to believe, but I mean, it is Wargaming, so this sounds exactly like something they would do. This is their apology. You, you can buy it. <laughs> that, that's, that's, that's their appeasement to the community. Well, to no one's surprise, this went over as well as, well, their entire house being on fire. Obviously, people just straight up, straight up left them, left, left them out of the building, and, um... I mean, at this point, pe people have no expectations of wargaming, and this really just this really proved it. The thing is, though, this fire is starting to spread a bit further than wargaming probably hoped, and probably a bit further than wargaming anticipated, because they're kind of hoping that with their kind of not apologizing for anything, not acknowledging the issue. People will forget about it, it will die out. They also gave put some vague promise in, the, in their apology how they're gonna add some ship in 2022. You better believe that's probably never gonna happen or if it is, it's something they're gonna sell as well. So they're hoping this will just go away. But the exact opposite is actually happening right now. The exact opposite, it's starting to be, get picked up by gaming media and it's starting to get, be picked up by a lot of gaming media. And that's exactly what they were hoping wouldn't happen. 
massively overpowered, wrote wrote a, uh, an article about it. The soapbox, World of Warships, aggressive monetization incited a mass exodus of content creators. And this started the avalanche. It was, was upvoted extremely highly on the games subreddit on, on Reddit. And this is just general gaming, not World of Warships, but just games. Two th or 2,000 votes, 260 comments. It's getting, starting to get a lot of visibility. PC Gamer picks up on it. Aggressive monetization is driving prominent players away from World of Warships. Uh, we have... Which site was this? I can't remember. We It's being picked up by various sites across the board. Various gaming sites. World of Warships faces max, mass exodus of content creators, aggressive monetization, gambling me mechanics, and toxic relationships. Kot even Kotaku is writing about it. World of Warships players are in open revolt over shady monetization schemes. It's being picked up by German pages, it's being picked up by Polish pages, just various local EU pages are starting to pick up on this. This is a <laughs> lot of press Wargaming really, really didn't want. And because this is the kind of press that reaches the average player. Because a, a lot, of, a large part of the player base doesn't actually watch these vids, or they don't really read the forums, or they pay attention to Reddit and stuff. The average players don't read this. But when it starts blowing up to this extent, that's when they start paying attention. Like, holy, holy shit, what's going on? What the hell is this company doing? So, this is quickly spiraling out of what Wargaming hoped. And uh, it was their control, and that they had a chance to really kill it, but that awful, awful semi, I don't, I can't even call it an apology, that awful response just incited even further revolt, and well, now it's being spread all over the place, and now they're starting to get probably a fair bit worried. Uh, some local, some, some fan pages, like for example, World of Warships fitting tool that I use, well, they're not even being sub subtle about their dislike anymore. <laughs> I mean, if you, if you open the site, World of Warships, a terrible game by a terrible company, wargambling, wargambling.net, <laughs> let's battle, by battle we mean fuck you right in the wallet. <laughs> so, yeah, there's... There's, I've never actually seen this much just global dislike by the player base against Wargaming in general. They are scrambling for some way to kill this drama. They're scrambling for some way to g kill this shit show that is currently occurring because right now it's quickly, quickly growing, it's mushrooming. And I mean, this is good. This is, this is just a good thing, because they are being so incredibly scummy and so incredibly greedy with their practices. It's fine, it's good that it's finally getting exposed and it's finally getting, people are getting an idea. Because people have this idea that, because back in the day Wargaming used to be fairly free to play friendly, but those days have long since passed and these days you can't even grind new lines, it's all early access content crates and I mean they've gone completely insane on the monetization of every aspect. We had the flags being removed from achievements, like basically every single way they can think of to make you spend more, more money they have come up with. And you can tell that they're actually getting quite a bit, quite desperate, because uh, a little white mouse, April white mouse, uh, a little white mouse posted a rather interesting picture of a conversation on, on, on the Reddit, which says, Wargaming attempts to offer a scapegoat. And it's a member of Wargaming, she intentionally censored that, because she didn't want to make this guy some sort of scapegoat. Uh, this guy says, hello. Little White Mouse, I know that you're angry with us right now, but I personally wanted to add that I'm deeply sorry for how the conversation which you went regarding the Missouri mission bonus in the CC Discord last week. I meant no disrespect or to attack you. I did not understand the issue properly, unfortunately, rushed my replies and caused even more misunderstanding. This situation could have been avoided with better and clearer communication from my side. Note that he's always talking about himself, never about Wargaming, never about the company. This is all him personally. I accept full responsibility for what I said and I'm still ready to make these apologies public if you want. Please accept my apologies. And White Mouse just goes, you already apologized. That's not what this is about. This is about Wargaming breaking their commitments to Chobi and I. And then he's like, I just wanted to make sure that you know that I personally regret this situation. 
And she's just like, yeah, that's fine, but it's irrelevant to the matter at hand. Wargaming violated the commitments to Chobi and I. It's because he keeps trying to make it a personal thing. Oh, it was only me. Whereas she's clearly, this is like, this is company wide. This isn't just, this isn't one dude. But Wargaming are clearly willing to throw this one guy under the bus in the hopes that, well, the community will get mad at him instead of getting mad at the company and they can kind of quietly relocate him or something and say yeah 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 he's been punished and and they can kind of they can just kind of uh, just put it under the carpet what, what is it called um just hide it hide it under the sofa or something so but people will forget about it and the whole drama will die down well she didn't bite because it was fairly blatant in fact her top comment was i'm posting this for two reasons first i believe wargaming is trying to throw this employee under the bus that's the saying under the bus uh, my best guess is that they are, they are being made to apologize again in the hopes that doing so publicly would exonerate Wargaming of any direct responsibility. They could be disciplined, transferred, dismissed to pay for Wargaming's fault if this hasn't already transpired. As far as I am concerned, they already apologized. What I was and I'm still more concerned with was, was how Wargaming allowed this behavior to be considered acceptable. Subactavian clearly believes it is because he refused to provide tangible proof of a commitment to work upon correcting. It. All we get are empty promises. Wargaming are expert at those. I got one six weeks ago, I got one on Friday, received another one today, and nothing changes. I don't accept your attempt at a scapegoat Wargaming. And then, of course, she has to not harass CCs because why would you? Uh, so, <laughs> this is this is starting to like smell like they are actually getting a bit desperate to get to kill this thing real fast. They're trying to f they're scrambling for ways to get rid of this. So if they suddenly decide if you suddenly read the news and there's some one dude who's being blamed for this entire thing and Wargaming apologizes not for their behavior but for this individual's behavior and how they handle themselves be aware that this is just a scapegoat. This is Wargaming finding someone to conveniently throw all the blame on so that this thing quickly, quickly dies down. And at this point, you need to be aware that this was most certainly not one single individual. And the entire Missouri monetization thing, <laughs> most certainly not one single individual either. This is them trying to get rid of any person or any company responsibility of this issue. And they have this one guy lined up, ready to take the entire blame, the entire hatred of the community, just so they can kill the story and so they can stop new news sites, media sites picking up on it and so that they can get rid of this entire drama. And that's exactly what we don't want. They're hoping, oh, forgive and forget. The guy was blamed, the thing is dead. But at this point, I think the community has gotten so used to the tactics and the bullshit that Wargaming spews that it simply isn't flying anymore. They have actually trained us to see through all their bullshit by lying to us for how many years? Well, I mean, some of us noticed it faster than others. There are still people defending them, but this is getting real spicy, isn't it? Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, I will keep you posted and I'll talk to you guys next time.